What I'm about to say is not going to be music to your ears, but I feel compelled to share it anyway. I'm going to talk about hope. Everybody is hyper-focused right now on protests and convoys and strikes and people gathering on corners and carrying signs and meeting in front of government buildings and screaming at the top of their lungs that they want this whole thing to stop. All of this is step-by-step -step conditioning. Instead of knowing we are individually free, we have to learn it by walking the fenced slave path and coming to the end where the field opens up before us and we realize there is no fence. It was all illusion. Some have to fight their way out. Others learn to simply elevate a few feet up and realize the fence was only keeping them in by emotion and fear. There is always a real and present danger and that feeds the fear factor. Hope is one of the most powerful emotions because it is subconscious and psychological, just like fear is. It rises and falls with events and circumstances and has to constantly be replenished, especially when you are captivated by small doses of fear. When people are fearful, they can relieve it with the knowledge that there is no danger. Hope is a much more difficult state of mind to achieve because people have to observe that there is an outcome for their hope that they can believe in. As long as they can keep dashing the people's hope, they can finally achieve a state of hopelessness. Hunger Games was a perfect analogy for this method. Please be alert to gurus who reinforce fear as their method unless they provide a dose of hope as well. Be alert to the solution they encourage because it very well may be the solution created by those who created the problem. It was always in the plan to pull back on restriction. For the love of freedom, please don't fall for this. They already gamed all this. Their algorithms already knew when critical mass would arrive. Problem, reaction, solution. We are winning because it was deemed time to move to the next phase. What is this next phase? As far as my research leads me, the idea is to get the people themselves to try to conquer their own governments, their own organizations that have been set up to entrap us in the first place. Why would we, they want us to overthrow our own governments, to protest to the degree to get people carrying pitchforks and torches? Why would they want to do that? Because they have another form of governance ready and waiting. It's called the Great Reset. If you are capable of going and reading the plan, the plan is to set up a new form of governance. That is the basis of the Great Reset. They cannot do that as long as most of the westernized countries are sovereign, independent, and doing their own thing. They can only have a Great Reset if everyone complies all countries, all nations, all people. In order to get the Great Reset to happen, governments need to be toppled. And they want the people themselves to be the ones to topple them. That way, they can implement their plan as part of problem reaction solution. They set up the problem. They wait for the reaction. They already know what the reaction's going to be and we've proved that we fell right in line. The solution is the Great Reset Plan, which is worldwide control by corporations rather than governments. It's in Agenda 2030. It's in the World Economic Forum platform. You can see it for yourself. In order to get there, they have to topple governments. That is why they set up bumbling politicians in place for everybody to get to the point where they're, oh my God, how can we have these bumbling politicians ruining everything, locking us down, wrecking our economy? It's all to squelch your hope in our own legacy government. Keep hope alive. There's nothing wrong with hope. But if you keep getting caught in the traps that have been set in their plan, then you will have no hope of overcoming their plan for the Great Reset they want to replace our legacy governments 
with a worldwide government that we the people did not elect. The Great Reset is a complete plan. It's social control, financial control, economic control, all of it. If you hope to avoid total control, then you're going to have to focus on the monster of the World Economic Forum plan and not whether or not you get your immediate rights back to go eat at a restaurant or fly on a plane. The hope is to overcome the master plan, the fourth industrial revolution, the biometric collection of data, the entrapment of everyone with central bank digital currencies, your wallet. If there's anything we should focus our hope on, it is to collectively get together to defeat the master plan and not the step-by-step -step problem reaction solution that they've trapped us into. At this very moment, they are orchestrating the people to overthrow their legacy governments and the solution is to replace them with corporate governance. That is the Great Reset at its core. That is what we have to put our collective hope together and topple the Great Reset because it's coming full steam ahead. Big hugs, everyone.